SMT Nation, we back. Speed testing the T-Mobile network. We're on a Google Pixel 7 Pro, so not the most, uh, not the most modern phone, I suppose. Still plenty good. I actually like it uh, on the T-Mobile network. It's 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 pretty nice. Uh, but we're testing on. We're we're locked into the SA 5G network for T-Mobile. The recommend recommendation by Jake Pimentel. If you guys follow him on X. He's got a YouTube channel too. I'll be sure to link something for you guys in the description. Shout out to Jake. He recommended I try T-Mobile locked in on SA on the Pixel. Now I will tell you guys, based on this first speed test here, guys, 691 down, about 40 megs on the up. We got like 28 on the unloaded ping time, 217 and 458 for the loaded download and upload latency. Jitters at 43. So battery life is atrocious. It is creaming my battery like absolutely crushing it it's it, like I, i'll go to bed it'll be on like 86 percent. i wake up it's at like 59 percent. you know it is nuts so this this phone has to get charged twice a day running in t-mobile's 5g standalone network so be mindful you know you want to connect to the standalone network it is a battery drain right so and even without it even on nsa i thought the battery drain was pretty excessive on t-mobile so just be mindful of that. Uh, we got 711 on the downlink. We got like 49, maybe about 50 megs here, 51 megs on the uplink. That's pretty good stuff there. Ping times look good. 21 millisecond unloaded, 147 and 376 for the loaded ping times downlink and uplink, and then uh, 7 on the jitter. Uh, just to kind of look at the connection log, you guys can see the 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 primary band right we are on sa 5g is n41 and we we're connecting the two channels here they have 100 megahertz on one channel and then they have uh, i think they're at 40 for the second channel the, they do have another 20 megahertz of you know the the frequency for 2.5 2.5 gigahertz but it's on lte still i don't know why um but anyways um we're probably getting an N25 piece in there as well. And we're probably getting N71. So I think N25 is at 10 megahertz. I think the N71 is at 15 megahertz. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's go ahead and split this and see if it changes anything. We'll just monitor, right? So trick with Android, you can run in split screen mode. We'll monitor those connections and see if anything changes here on the second test. And, you know, single check pro is not the most you know, accurate, you know, the best way to do it is to get a Galaxy, get in the service mode, and you can see all the connections with the bandwidth. Uh, just ordered a Samsung Galaxy S24, actually. Um, I'll be getting a couple. I'm going to get an S24, I'm going to get a Plus, and uh, I'll get an Ultra, too, probably, and I'll just start doing all my testing on the Galaxies. And uh, I'm going to get an iPhone 15 Pro Max, too, I believe. So then we'll have all the updated phones. All right, 638 down, 42 up. We're still connected to the n41 piece uh primary so signal quality is pretty good and actually we're, we're at pretty good range i'd say we're probably about a half mile away that's pretty good uh pretty good performance 638 down 43 up not bad uh you'll see rsrp is pretty clean we're in the 80s sinar very clean signal all right so low noise very nice by t-mobile good throughput uh now if we get a little bit further the first thing you see is that uplink starts to kind of fall off quite a bit. So that this is why tower density is so important. And I don't think T-Mobile does a lot of home internet around here. It's a lot of fiber for AT&T. I think Spectrum and Cox are both out here too, different parts of this town. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this and do this testing with you guys. Talk to me about your experience on the T-Mobile 5G SA network. Good, bad, indifferent. Notice the difference between the NSA has been good for you. I have to say, for me, it's been good as a performer, uh, but the battery drain is pretty substantial. Comment down below. You're the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.